What's up, guys? It's Rock Marvel welcoming you back to Let's Play Thousand Arms. Uh, we actually have to cross over here. So, we have to go to Fort Teve. Uh, actually, to upgrade our weapon, because we need to do that. And let's talk to our good pal, Musa, because he's our buddy. Oh, he's our buddy, oh, pal. Keep up the spirit blacksmith training. Lame! I wanted you to join us. So let's go in here and uh, see if our weapon needs forging again, since we are imbued with the spirit. Uh, forge weapon, sure. Oh, uh, sure, we'll forge the weapon. I would like to forge a weapon with you. Which weapon would you like to forge? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna forge, uh, Sedina's. I'm gonna forge them both, because, you know, we had a chance to forge them both, and, uh, that's just what we're gonna do, because, guess what? We're gonna forge the weapon, catch everything up with the levels that they need to be caught up at, and, uh, you know, get going on here. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, alright, she's actually in a pretty good mood. I wish I could date her right now, because level 3 intimacy uh, doesn't really do much for the levels, but let's check out Mice's sword. It's decent. Er. <laughs> and so Dina's knives are getting better. Excellent. So we are doing quite well, but we do have to pass through Fort Teve if I'm not mistaken. Fort TV. Fort Tev. Nope. <laughs> Let's see what this guy has to say. You're not strong enough. It's too dangerous out here. Again, you should be to do a good reason. Or Musa to join you. Okay, well, we needed our weapons upgraded anyway and badly. So, we can actually... No, I guess not. Um, I was like, maybe we can just walk to the side enough and get out of here like we can now so we really did need to upgrade our weapons though and I'm glad to catch 14 but I was in the right spot the whole time but I was not prepared as I am now for everything <laughs> so let's see here oh I'm itchy so how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I'm just trying to... Okay, there we go. Now we're in the right spot. Since we're running into newer enemies. The Gear Hawk here is one of... Obviously the new enemies. I showed him off last episode. But I do want to show him off again. And his stupid special attack, which hurts. It sure does hurt. Yikes. Alright, good, we got him. He's all these enemies at this point are about fifty to sixty HP. So that's not so bad. That's kinda good. It's pretty deity good. And Sodina's level ten. Excelente. I know I, I should just be a little more less uh X button happy on that, but I'm trying to figure out or at least remember where I'm going. Because I'm having a hard time remembering. I know, I know, I know, guys. Ah, uh... ah, there it is. It's up there. It's really hidden away. I, you know, I forgot about this, about this place. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, I decide that we need to save. And, uh, also, since we have a lot of potions, I, I love that one little Final Fantasy song. <laughs> Look, it's a, just a cute Final Fantasy song. I forget where it came from, DeviantArt or whatever. And it's like they spell potion P-O-S-H-U-N. I thought that was kind of cute. It's like potion. Like that. Why are girls so cute sometimes? But they're such evil devils! Uh, no. We don't need to do that now. And 
why is Sodina a level above us? Well, she kind of needs it, honestly. More than we do. Okay. So, this is the cave. This is where our first sacred altar is. <sighs> Oops. Didn't want to do that. Sorry, guys. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Ah, right in here. Here it is. And this is the sacred altar. Yippee sk Gippy. What am I doing? <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, this is the sacred altar. Yippee skippy. And then I keep screwing up. We need this chest. Acquired an elixir. I haven't used any elixirs yet, but... I also have been pretty uh, diligent about keeping up my MP, too. Now, there are a bunch of new enemies here, and also uh, some scary enemies. Like this guy, the Sword Crab. <laughs> I don't know how swords can be stronger than Shimitars, but whatever. We're going to do that. We're going to fight this guy. We're going to fight this guy. Now, he is defending himself with the sh with, with thing, so we're, oh, it's not accessible yet, so we're going to use a spell, a, w a wind spell. Actually, the whole trick here is that you're supposed to wait until he's not defending. But I just wanted to show you guys how that wind spell worked. Well, you know what? That was just a waste. So we're just going to defend. Uh, we're just going to stand by. Yeah, really, bitch. Like, seriously, attack. We're gonna defend here again. As it blows bubbles at us. Psychedelic bubbles. Okay. And then we attack. Yes. Because they that's what they do is they kind of start off defending. I know. And then they get easier to kill. <laughs> I didn't do that with the boss last time, but that is actually how you're supposed to defeat those guys. So if you see an enemy starting off defending, just defend until it does something. Uh, yeah, you could kind of just, you know, nickel and dime it, but really, it's not good to do that. I mean, they give you a defend option for a reason. RPGs that give you a defend option, sometimes you need to do that for a reason. Like, not attacking on Final Fantasy, uh... Yeah. We're going all around this wild world, and this is the sacred altar. It's all frozen and cold and watery. But I'm glad that we're here, and I'm glad that we're spending time together, you and me, as friends, viewers. Oh, the freelance ninja! Die, Naruto! Die! Sorry, Naruto fans. I was gonna call. It, uh, I was gonna, like, sorry, Narutards, but I didn't want to be a jerk. These, uh, these, these guys also have a drop on them. They have the War Brace, which is uh, their drop that you can get. Now, uh, the War Brace... Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's not a hard drop, but you may have to grind for it. Or unless we get it right away. Ah, mice leveled up. And we get nothing, but... Uh, I believe that the Freelance Ninja drops a War... I think it's called the War Glove or something like that, but... Uh, it's kind of an interesting weapon. Uh, what the War Glove does is it raises your offense in fa uh, in favor of lowering your defense. Not in favor, but okay. This is what the War Glove does, and I'm gonna have a hard time tripping all over my words. But another freelance ninja. Maybe we'll get one from him because this is something that we should have. It's one of the first accessories of the game, and it's not a bad accessory. If uh, you're, if you don't mind uh, taking hits, and Mike is kind of a tank, uh, Mike, Mice is kind of a tank right now, so and we just let's not, let's hope that he doesn't die. Oh, he defended himself, but he died anyway. Basically, the war glove, yeah, just it lowers your defense in the favor of high defense, uh, but high offense, which is kind of cool. It's, it's really not a bad 
it's really not a bad accessory. Okay, we should uh, heal up right here. Because that's what I need to do is heals ups. Yeah, we're pretty healed up right now. Oh, that dark sword is such a piece of crap and you can't sell it to you because it's evil! Not, 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 not mistake. Not, not mistake. Oh, cool. If I'm not mistaken, I was like, this is a dead end, but it's not. I'm just keeping all these battles in because for the most part they are new battles to us. So, unless it's another freaking up ah, and a new guy, a Harak. Couldn't read his name because I wasn't paying attention. Come on, freelance ninja, won't you die today? Sleeping in the sunshine. I can't. I can't sing like Tiny Tim. I, w I wish I could. It requires a lot of air to sing like that. Okay, these guys are are brand new. Um, hey, cool. Recovered HP. Needed that. These guys are also new enemies. They don't hurt. <laughs> Not much at all. Awesome. Enemy defeated. Now, another thing is, is that we find, we can also find the Hammer Gear Man in here too, the boss from a little bit, uh, from a little bit ago actually, and he is a dick, so I would watch out for him, if you happen to run into him, so, always be prepared in here, as I am being prepared, like with any RPG, obsess over healing, because you never know when your guy's gonna die. Okay... Oh! Whoa, why can't I get. Ah. Acquired Book of Delay. Alright, cool. Book of Delay is basically like your slow spell. And, uh, it's. It's. That's. It's just what it is. Is a slow spell. Ah, Haruki Ghost. So. He's kind of a funky little ghost, a funky little ghost, funky ghost, funky ghost, and he doesn't hurt a lot. All right, cool. He dies in under well, 50 hit points, so that's good. And so Dina is level 11. Excellent, excellente. Now I want to go over here and figure out where that chest is, but we'll figure that out for next time. Or I'll figure that out and tell you how to get there. Huh. Okay, so the name of those guys is the Harakiki Ghost. I was like, Harakiki, Harakiki, okay. The more you know, okay. This is where things just don't get fun. All right, and we are back. We have just been uh, it's the Harakiki ghost or machine guy dude what am I doing where am I going ah there we are I hope no the heck game the heck All right, now we have the uh, Hammer Gear Man, as we see him as a regular enemy. Hooray! He's kind of a dick, but he's not so bad. As a regular enemy, he's just not so bad because it's like, well, you fight him at a, at a bigger level now. So. He just takes a little more physical hits. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, gain in life. Awesome. There we go. Now we got him. And another freelance ninja. Why not? Awesome. Die, freelance ninja. Stand by. Stand by for action. Yay! Yep, Freelance Ninja could not get away. He wanted to retreat, but now he is dead. We got your XP, sir. We got your experience. And mice leveled up. And we get an Antidote EX out of that. Excellent. Uh, antidote EX, uh, that is always a good to have. Come to think about, about something that's always good to have, potions. Uh, we should start using them. Uh, yeah, we're good. Uh, I forget where to go. Holy cow, that sword crab almost killed me. It had me paralyzed and everything. And I didn't even use one of my perilous, uh, perilous items. Perilous th 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 items. Why? Because I'm stingy when it comes to items. Finally, I figured it out. Just as battle sets up. Okay, I'll keep this bun in. This bun in. This battle in. These guys aren't so bad. It's just those sword crabs can get pretty obnoxious. I just did not, not have a good time with that sword crab. It was just bad news bears, man. Kushmash. Mice is sure taking a beating. Oh, oh, poison crap. Your attack goes down when you're poisoned. Uh, whatever. I'll poison F. I'll uh, heal up after the battle. That's really not a problem for me. See how his defense goes down when you're poisoned? Yeah. Alright, good. And if I'm not mistaken, poison wears off after battle. Well, we are leveling up like wild here. Oh, give me excuse me once again. Ooh. Oh my neck oh my shoulder. My shoulder item. Uh look. Yeah. We're gonna use this. There we go. Mice is back in action for the most part. Man, that was n not good. Yeah, why not? Hopefully, uh, we don't run out of potions un until the end of this dungeon, but. There we go. What's right, What's right here? There's a battle. Lovely! And it's a maze, by the way. This part. Uh, we'll just attack him. Die. 
No! Don't do that! I'm not paying attention much to the game right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, good. I win. And you lose. You lose. Awesome. That's my favorite game. You lose. Okay, another Antidote EX. Lovely. Okay, so let's just uh, keep moving on with the plot. And there is a. What's this? Oh, well, there are four different paths. And we'll explore them. Ah, we'll keep this battle in the heart. The Harakiri. The Harakiki. I don't know how to say its name. Can't read it, it's too fast. Die! Oh, that, that's painful. <laughs> that's not good at all. But yeah, I see that there are four paths up ahead and there are a good amount of treasures in this dungeon that we should really uh, be careful and take care to find. What's up here? Uh, I don't think we need to go here yet. This is kind of a... Right here is kind of a part in the game where they... Okay. Uh, spell. Alright. <laughs> Excellent. Right here is kind of a part in the game where it's kind of just like... Hey... Here's a bunch of stuff. But you have to look for it. Alright, we gained a level here. Excellent, excellent. And we get another Antidote EX, which is great. Because we're running into a lot, a lot of them. Which is nice. Ah, I see that we have something right here. And we don't need to be here yet, so... If I remember path one, you have to remember path one. If you guys can do that for me. Yeah, that was just another crab. I hate those guys. With a passion. Right up here, we get... A potion! Excelente! Kularama! Another battle. Oh, it's a freelance ninja. We'll fight him. Hopefully we can get one of these war gloves because that would be really cool. They are actually very helpful right now in the game. Let us get the ah oh, dick face muncher. Yeah, get mad. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Dick face muncher died. Gonna have to heal up once again. Great news for me. Nothing. Balls and balls. Okay. Uh, spell. So Dina, she is our main healer. She really matters when it comes to uh, the spells. Excuse me? Okay, so let's go up 
here. What's in here? Over here. Look at over here. Listen, I hate that song. Still do. It's a terrible song. This, this is a terrible enemy. Run! Run! Run away! Thank you. That is what retreating looks like. So, I'm pretty sure I showed that off, but, uh, you know. <sighs> More stuff. I like stuff. Acquired antidote. Okay, that's cool, dog. Okay, and we gained another level again. Hooray! Hooray for level gaining. I'm actually gonna be ending off this level here pretty quick instead of going to that uh, fourth place. Ah, should we go there? Why not? We'll do it. All right, and we get a new item here called the Necronomicon, which is basically like a uh, free fire spell. So that is good. That's good for us. Hooray! And we need to, well, heal up once again. So Dina has the heal spells. And they're cheap and easy. Like Hamburger Helper! So, we're actually going to be using one of our elixirs. Um, yeah. She honestly needs this more than we do. So, the elixir is pretty, 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 pretty useful. What's up here? Obviously nothing. <laughs> oh, we're almost done with this dungeon, I swear, guys. I swears, I swears, I swears. We are almost done with this dungeon. And we're obviously done with this guy. We don't need to see him. Screw this guy. Screw him to hell. We're going to retreat from this guy. We don't need to see him. We don't need to see him. He don't like us. We don't like him. It's just the, you know, general consensus around here. Yeah, guy's a jerk. So, but remember, kids, path four is a uh, dead end. Path one, on the other hand, is also a dead end. Ah. So, yeah, path two. Why did I ever say path one initially? Okay, so uh, path two once again. Remember, we saw that save, Damashi, Damashi, Damashi. Yeah, we saw that save, Damashi there. I'm gonna keep this battle in, why not? Uh, we saw that save, Damashi there, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna end up our episode right there. We're pretty close by to it, there's really nothing else to really worry about here at this point besides just well surviving so yeah RPGs man they are uh, they're tough I mean this one is in fact easier than other RPGs uh, that were out in its time but yeah, this RPG is pretty, uh, still, I mean, there, there's some challenge with it, but it's not too hard, it's just, uh, I don't know, I, I, I forget what I would have to say the hardest RPG of, uh, this time would be, like the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, really can say, I would have to say Vanguard Bandits was pretty hard, that was kind of a turn-based RPG if anyone ever remembers that game, 
And I, and I would love to play that game again. Uh, I would definitely have to do it as blind LP, but Vanguard Bandits was a cool kind of strategy RPG. That could kind of hit enemy cutscenes and everything like this game. Alright, and another level up, and another Necronomicon. Awesome. We're going to need those. Definitely going to need those. So let's go in here. The second path was the path of choice. Let's talk to this do doofus. Doofus. Uh, do I want to save? Of course I want to save. What do you think I am? Stupid? He obviously thinks I'm stupid. Okay. Yes. I know I keep uh, keeping these saves in here, but I figure why not? I mean, it's fun. And it's like, if you're going to play the game yourself, while watching me play, there's a lot of kind of just stuff. So, next time on Thousand Arms, we're going to go to the Sacred Altar and forge our sword for power and glory and stuff like that. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.